A groundbreaking cl clinical trial is now underway at a major Bay Area medical center. It's an experimental fix for bad knees. So far, 20 patients are involved, including an avid golfer and a weekend warrior. Only on 5, Kit Doe has an exclusive look at the treatment that could end their crippling pain. Al Perez, a private investigator out of Martinez. You want to be able to do the things you like to do. And San Jose High School math teacher Eric Eastman. Sports is one of the biggest things in my whole life. It's hard to believe they both had bad knees. So I started having some problems with my left knee, which I came to find out it had some uh, moderate arthritis in there. I've had surgery five years ago and, and 11 years ago. The culprit? Cartilage. The knee's shock absorber was damaged. Whether you're a pro athlete or just a weekend warrior, a nick, a tear, a breakdown in cartilage can be painful and downright debilitating. That's why at Stanford Medical Center, both men chose to undergo an experimental procedure. Al, almost a year ago, without hesitation. None whatsoever. And Eric, just this past April. He was still on crutches after the treatment. It's new, it's exciting. The procedure takes about an hour. It's outpatient surgery. Dr. Jason Dragu, a Stanford orthopedic surgeon, runs the clinical trial. He gave us an exclusive look at the future of knee repair. The doctor and his team are testing a new approach. The repair material? Adult stem cells harvested from the patient's own body. This is tapping into the regenerative potential that everyone has. Under the right conditions, adult stem cells can transform into cartilage. The hope? That knee cartilage will regenerate and fix the problem. I wanted to avoid another knee replacement. It was a nice way to really take advantage of what our bodies have to offer. Dr. Dragu showed us just how easy it is to retrieve those stem cells. They're found in a fat pad located right in the knee itself. Regardless of how thin or not we are, we always have a fat pad, which is this resource of cells that are in everyone's knee. Using small incisions and minimally invasive tools, the surgeons harvest the fat. Then using a special technique, Dr. Dragu breaks the fat up. That releases the stem cells. That mix then goes into a special device, and when it comes out, the stem cells are concentrated at the top and bottom of the tube. The cells are immediately then ejected right back into the patient's knee. The cells never leave the operating room, and that breaks down a lot of other barriers, less chance of infections. Lab research shows that it works. We're finally at the point of treating people. Everyone in the trial undergoes traditional knee repair, but two-thirds of them get the stem cells. Doctors will track the cartilage growth using MRIs. Al and Eric won't find out if they got the stem cells until after the trial, but they feel good. Al even sent us a vacation movie from Florida. Well, so far, you know, I've been able to uh, water skate a little bit. I've um, been able to play golf. At this point, uh, so far, so good. By the time I'm 65, I, I, I want it to be my choice whether I play hockey, not my body's choice. In Redwood City, Kit Doe, KPIX 5.